Hey everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how I created this character. Uh, I started out with a uh, Photoshop file right here and this is a pretty rough sketch. Anyone can do this and I took a the brush tool and I initially dragged out or <laughs> drew out a line of action for which this alien was uh, moving in and uh, then I created his arms and then I worked on his body parts so that I could uh, go into ZBrush and create him and I will show you how I did that yeah so uh, okay now Photoshop is in the background and ZBrush, ZBrush is on top of it and I turned on the see-through mode just a little bit so I can see through to the Photoshop layer behind and um, I started off with a simple sphere and uh, pressed BSH to select the snake hook brush I love this brush because you can take geometry and um, drag out uh, straight lines and this is a great way to get the basic shape of whatever you're making very quickly um, especially if your brush is bigger and you can grab more of the object and stuff yeah anyway uh, so I I drew out this initial line and then his arms and then I pressed B I N for inflate and then I changed to drag rectang rectangle so I could more accurately increase portions of his body however I wanted to uh, undo yeah okay and then uh, after I got his 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 body and arms and legs uh, down I switched to his his limbs or his you know hands and his head and his feet so in Photoshop let's focus on one of them let's start with the head nice okay so let's turn him around and I made his head really big in Photoshop so I could accurately um, create his face and it doesn't have to be exact because his you know Photoshop face isn't perfect and uh, I kinda like where I was going with the 3D model and I pressed BMV to select the move brush and then adjusted the draw size to pull out his different features right okay to match up with the image behind. Nice. Okay, then let's Alt Tab to switch back to Photoshop and move to his his hand. Uh, I kind of stuck with this hand. I drew this hand as well. Like one of his hands would be out and he'd be like, "Hey, everybody, it's me." And then his other hand would be full of rage. But I kind of stuck to just one hand for each um, of his hands. So in ZBrush. I zoomed in and okay it's backwards so let's alt tab back to Photoshop and select this hand control T uh, negative width to switch that and yeah okay alt tab okay then move around alt tab right a little more okay and I use the BMV brush to make sure his hands lined up and once I got that done I moved on to his feet nice okay exit to cancel that okay here's his feet and I kinda of figured that he'd have more than just two toes should be able to walk around and let's zoom in so I can show you now he's an alien, so he's 
probably not got five digits on his hands and feet, so I gave him three toes that um, he can walk around with. And yeah, I just doesn't have to be exact. It's just a, giving you an idea of where things need to go and stuff. So yeah, anyway, after I did that, I zoomed out and then turned off see-through mode and panned around my character to see if that was correct. And I liked um, his figures, his hands, his feet, and his face. And I loved his mouth. It has a lot of expression. It was very simple to do. I just used the move brush. Uh, let's draw size down. And I, I pulled up, giving me something like that. And then I just moved it around and it was really nice. So, if anybody's trying to make a character and they're good in pho Photoshop and, um, I don't know, like to um, work with reference images, you can easily uh, go into Photoshop. Okay, deselect that. Um, Alt File New. Right. You can easily go into Photoshop and quickly, you know, rough in a character. Um, and fancy. And then create it. And then switch back to ZBrush and start rearranging the character as needed until you come up with something you like. And if anybody likes this video and would want to see more of this, uh, please subscribe or like, and like, or like, doesn't matter. <laughs> and I would be happy to make more of them. And stay tuned because I am going to explore more of the new features inside ZBrush 4 R5. I'm really excited and I will probably get into high definition um, um, stuff. So yeah. Anyway. Thanks, everybody.